Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be filming like a misguided winter kind of autumn haul as well. Basically I just can't stop spending and I was going to say that I need more autumn winter clothes but I don't know if I necessarily do. Instead of just doing like getting bits and bobs from Misguided, getting a few pieces, I thought right I'm going to do a big order because they were having like a 40% off sale so I was like right I'm going to do a big order, put loads in my basket and then I've got loads to try on and I can just send back whatever I don't like because a lot of the time I'll just all like a few bits and I don't like any of it and then it was just a waste of time waiting for the refund blah 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 so I thought right I'm just going to do a big big haul and then I'll film it and then whatever I don't like I can send back however all of it I feel like I'm going to like which is worrying which is worrying because it was like a 200 and I think before the discount it was like 280 pounds 290 pounds which I can't afford so this some of this has got to go back so I'm hoping that some of it isn't as nice and I'll tell you what sizes I got and what the prices were I believe I don't know whether they're still doing the sale actually because they were doing it for quite a few days yes they've still got the 40% off so it's just on the home page it says 40% off there and that's where a lot of this stuff I got like the stuff from that uh, sale so so I've got uh, basically what inspired this whole haul is I bought a new pair of Doc Martens you know them ones with the massive platforms um, I bought them the other day so I wanted to do like a big shop that I could wear like that stuff with and my vision was to wear like an oversized jumper dress tights then the Doc boots um, and then like a big jacket so I got this oversized sweatshirt really cool actually it's an oversized black sweatshirt it's got like turquoisey blue stripes down the side of the arms and then it just says 90 in yellow with like a white border and it's really big as well and oversized a lot of like the sweater dresses i, I find they always like go tight around the, like your thigh and i just want it to like literally hang like just be shapeless i got this in a size a and i think this was like 20 quid let me look so this jumper dress was 25 pounds which i don't think is too bad and with discount codes and stuff it's just lower anyway so that's quite good so yep i got that in an eight so the next thing i got was this oversized gray knitted jumper so these are similar to the ones that they do in primark but the ones for my primark called that wasn't like a proper roll neck where this actually has like a roll neck so it's an oversized cable knit jumper and it just has balloon sleeves which i thought were really nice just these with jeans and docks would be really nice i got this in an eight as well and it literally stinks of like grass this was 28 pounds i got it in a size 6 slash 8 so another jumper i got this oversized just gray round neck jumper and then on the back it has a picture on it and it says i don't even know what it says it says bad influence hotline girl don't know what that means but i thought that was quite cool with the orange writing and this i probably would just wear for lounging indoors like gray leggings or actually i probably would wear this out with mum jeans um but i just wanted more plain jumpers that are really cozy so i got this in a large i'm pretty sure yeah i got this in a large for an oversized look although the larges are never that big in jumpers but i mean it's pretty big so yeah just an easy casual piece it's called the slinky no, the zip slinky corset detail top. So it's just a crop top, but it's like the most nicest material. It's really silky. And then it has a zip, so you can kind of wear it up or down. So I just thought this with some mum jeans would look quite cool. And just a bit different to a normal like long sleeve crop top. I've got this in a size eight as well. And this material is just so nice. The only thing is though, I feel like it's going to be a little bit see-through. Now this top, I thought that was quite cheap slinky zip yeah this was only 14 pounds 40 um so that was quite cheap for a crop top so i probably will keep this if it looks nice on and it's not see-through so i really needed like an actual coat i don't own a coat i used to just steal my sister's but now she's gone to uni so i can't do that anymore um so i only have like teddy bear coat or i've got a denim jacket and a leather jacket but i wanted an actual coat so i've got this in the sow and i still think it's in the south this coat was 55 pounds down to 33 i think I've got it in an eight. It's just an oversized. Oh, just hit my mirror. It's an oversized padded coat. It's going to be really hard to show, but it's got these big pockets on the side, which I really like. It's really oversized, so I could have even done with sizing down, to be honest. But I wanted to wear it this weekend, so I just wore it anyways. Um, but you can definitely downsize this coat because it is really big. Uh, it's a really thick coat. It'd just be perfect for the winter time. It's all padded. It's also a really nice length. It's not a short like puffer coat length then it's not like down to the knees either and like i said i've already wore this i wore this all weekend so it's a perfect coat and it was only 30 quid which i think is such a steal this top 
top I'm obsessed with. So it's just a like one of them milkmaid tops. The only thing is though, I feel like it looks quite big. I got it in a, I swear I got it in an eight. Yeah, I got it in an eight, but I feel like that looks quite wide. Um, but it's called a scarf print, so it has all these different prints on it, and it just has like the cuts for your boobs and like nice frilly shoulders. I just thought this again tucked into mum jeans with like black Doc Martens would look really cool, and a leather jacket. I'm just not sure about the size. I feel like it looks quite big. I can always reorder I guess but I just thought this was really different and I don't actually own like a lot of nice tops like I wear a lot of like roll necks and jumpers like the grey jumper I just showed you but I don't really have any nice tops so I think this was a little bit more of a nice like a jeans nice top vibe this was only cheap I think this was like 20 quid so really good so I've kind of I've been wanting to find like a long chunky cardigan and I've been looking in Primark because obviously Primark's a little bit cheaper, a bit more on my budget, so I thought that'd be perfect. But all of their cardigans have like them belts around them, and I just don't want that. So I got this in the oh my god, this actually stinks. Yeah, so I got this in the sale. This is like their I think I feel like it was called a premium cardigan, and it was like thirty pounds down from like forty five. So I got it in this beige colour. It's gonna be hard to show. It's just gonna look like one big knit, but it's like a chunky really thick cardigan that's long i think it will come down to about just underneath i don't know maybe my knee i'm not sure it's really thick i think this is their yeah this is their premium range i mean it's just like a thick cardigan but i don't know i thought i'd wear this with like flat roll necks and mum jeans and dot martens like just the same outfits but i feel like the cardigan is a bit more all to me yeah so i got this in a six slash eight and Oh my god, it stinks. I actually got another cardigan from Misguided, which I wore all weekend, so I'm definitely keeping it. I'll show you that one next. So this cardigan I'm keeping. I wore it this weekend with a uh, roll neck, mum jeans, and Doc Martens. But again, this stinks. Like, does anyone know why Misguided knits stink? Like, is that normal? Should they smell like mould? Just a cream cardigan and i like this one because it has balloon sleeves i just think it looks a bit more just adds a bit more when you're wearing it as an outfit it's oversized i got it in a six to eight but it's still like an oversized cardigan so again you could size down with this if you wanted to but it's just a really nice cream color and the knit's quite thick so it's going to keep you warm i wore this all weekend instead of a coat because it was kind of mild out so i wore this instead of a coat and it like kept me warm when it looked really autumnal so i really like this but again this one wasn't cheap i think i want to say it was 35 pounds but i'm not sure which i feel like it's quite a lot of money for a cardigan but i know i'll wear it low so i'm gonna keep this one i'll see how the other one looks on um i just wasn't as excited about it so i tried this one on first but i'll just see how that one looks on but i probably won't i probably won't keep two i don't think anyway because that's a bit much a little bit much so i've got a boyfriend oversized denim shirt and again the idea with this i wanted to wear it with black tights and then dot lines and like maybe a big like that big puffy jacket um but the only thing is this wasn't advertised as a dress it's actually advertised as a shirt but the model wore it as a dress so and the model's always tall right so i feel like it must fit me so it's literally just an oversized kind of thick shirt it's almost like a bit of a cord material it's all black so the buttons are all black so it looks really seamless uh i'm not sure whether i'm going to be able to wear this as a dress though that looks like a top doesn't it um maybe i should have got a bigger size i got it in an eight maybe i should have worn a bigger size to like get the dress look but that's kind of like my idea of how i want to wear it this was 28 pounds for a denim shirt which i don't think is too bad actually but hopefully it fits as i want it to because if it fits like a top then i won't bother keeping it because i want like actual dress ones that i can wear with tights and stuff okay so i don't know if i'm gonna like these or whether i'm gonna be able to pull them off but i see a lot of people on instagram wearing like leather leggings with big black chunky boots so i thought is that how i'm gonna sound when i'm walking and so I just thought I'm just going to order a pair because these were quite cheap actually. I don't think that they were that much money, but I'm not sure whether I'm going to pull it off. I just thought like an oversized knitted jumper, uh, the leather leggings and then black chunky boots might look quite cool. That's kind of what I see on Instagram, but I'm not sure whether I'm going to pull it off. Um, I've got these in at eight as well. And they literally are just leggings. Like they're not trousers. They don't have like zip or anything like that. They are just leggings. These are the pin tuck ones, I think. So it just has like lines down the legs i'm not sure if you'll be able to see because they look quite shiny in the camera they're not that shiny i don't think okay also to go with the black chunky bit 
Boop, 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 boop. I'm on myself. Okay, also to go with the black chunky boots. This whole haul is for black chunky boots. I wanted like a floral, like girly dress to wear with boots as like a contrast kind of thing. So I got this, but the material feels like horrible. Like it's so thin. I feel like you're gonna be able to see through this. I feel like this material is really cheap. This dress was £25, so I definitely don't think it feels £25. I will try it on. I'll try it on with some tights and my boots and see how it looks. But it's a really pretty dress, and they actually did it in black as well, which I thought would look nice. But I was trying to be a bit more... I wanted, like, a girly dress, so I thought I'd get the pink. Okay, so the last thing is just really simple. This top was only £9 in the sale, so that's... Basically, that was why I added it into my basket. I was about to check out, and I was going through the sale, and this was £9, and I was like... I want a top for nine pounds. It's just a white ribbed roll neck, which like I said, I wear all the time through autumn and winter, but it's just a bit different because the sleeves are like puff sleeves, but I'm just a bit wary this is gonna be see-through because of that like white cream color. I feel like a lot of the time it's see-through. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see. This would even look nice for work as well. It's like one of those pieces that I can wear outside of work, also to work, so it's really handy. And it was nine pounds, so. Love a lovely little bargain. So that was everything from my misguided haul. I'm going to try these bits on now and see what I'm going to take back and what I'm going to keep. I actually need to go on a spending ban like I need to stop spending money. But then again, my Primark haul that I filmed, the October one, I ended up taking a lot of it back. So I actually saved money because I was editing the footage and I was like, you look horrible and all of this. Like it was actually a terrible haul. So yeah, but I actually need to go on a spending ban. I need to stop filming hauls. I need to stop buying. But I love autumn and winter. Autumn and winter is my favourite like season for clothes and stuff. So... I mean, I'm probably going to be filming more hauls, like, obviously going to be spending all my money on clothes. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this haul. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!